More Chair Shot Reality here on the playlist for you to binge watch on WrestlingInc.com. Katie Arquette's back. That guy's still over there. I am Justin Labar. We're going to talk now. More Elimination Chamber. Oh, yeah. Let's go into the females. Let's start, though, before we get to the Chamber match. Let's start with the advertised segment of Ronda Rousey signing her WWE contract. I think this is going to lead to a WrestleMania match. I don't know who's going to interrupt her if someone does. I would assume Stephanie will be out there. First oh, off, definitely. Because it's a contract signing. Mm -hmm. You think someone gets put through a table? It's contract <gasps> signing. It has to happen. It has to happen, right? Yeah. It's tradition, right? Anytime you tradition. sign contract, it's like someone's going through a table. I'm glad we never signed a contract on this show. Maybe Rousey does another uh, hip toss to Triple H and that's through the table. <gasps> oh, my yes. God. That'd be so over, over the top, too. It'd be perfect if they did that. I definitely think... St I, actually, I don't think... We don't even know what the... Is it just first a off, contract I think, I think it's going to be... I think, that's what Ooh. I'm getting at. I think it's going to be Kurt Angle in the ring introducing Rousey. Oh, yeah. Rousey comes out. I think Stephanie interrupts. Excuse and I think me, Stephanie, I started the Divas Revolution. I yes, think, show well, them out and say that. Be like, hold up, let me introduce. There's the whole revolution thing. Plus, I think there's also Stephanie going, you know, Kurt. Like, the revolution's been going just fine. Who said? Who 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 claimed that Raw needed to have Ronda Rousey? Wow. Because that's the thing. How they haven't addressed that. How did they decide? You know, Raw just gets to have Ronda Rousey. Wouldn't you think that SmackDown might be a little pissed off you about that? They're going to oh, be there. Definitely. You think Daniel Bryan will be there? I don't know, but I think that Shane I, maybe. I think there's something to that. Uh, of, of Ronda being on Raw. Um, it's a vague contract, too. We don't actually know right. what it's going to be. Right. I think everyone will be out there, like, almost fighting over her, in a sense. Unless Which Stephanie doesn't That's get her, and it's like, well, she doesn't need to be in the WWE at all. She came in at WrestleMania how long ago? Hurt me, hurt my husband. She shouldn't be here at all. And then Kurt Angle says something, and then Daniel Bryan gets involved with Shane. <laughs> you can have a lot of people it's involved here. Almost definitely. Because well, you want to make her seem like what she is, hot like commodity. a hot commodity. Mm -hmm. You want to make her seem well. Like and, and so I think we all are in agreement. It's going to be, you know, she's going to be in a mixed tag match, probably against Triple H and Stephanie. So then it becomes, okay, who's her partner? And the Rock. Okay. It, it, it's, it's not good. I well, don't think that's it's where the Rock. It, it, that's like, where it yeah, started. That's where it started. It started. The heat started it, with The Rock. He he brought the kettle and the pot. Not, and then he included Ronda. Katie, I'm not disagreeing with you. I think it's just <laughs> going to be a matter of logistics of like getting The Rock. I think he's so damn busy. And the movies don't want him to get hurt. The insurance purposes. So, I think that's the best option. I don't know if it's the most realistic he's the best. option. Most realistic is either Kurt Angle or like a Seth Rollins. Someone or, who doesn't win the chamber. Or, or a Braun Strowman yep. or Shane McMahon even. Because Shane mm. has history with Triple H and Stephanie. And you can always easily rely on you that. You think people are going to crap all over that because it's too many McMahons and it's really just promoting <laughs> them and not Ronda? Because that's what people do. Oh, you know, they're taking well, see, the spotlight, but it is their show, to be fair. That's why I think The Rock would actually come back because, yes, movies don't want to see him get hurt because that is like his main profession at this point in time. However, since the, the heat and the angle started that way, they bring The Rock in. This is when Ronda shows her most valuable moves it, and what she has to offer. The Rock is kind of like, hey, I'm going to come in and just like pow, 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 and yep. then that's it. Maybe she'll be right. It'll be <laughs> another person that here, proves you wrong. Here, no. She's not. <laughs> stop ganging people against me. It's and, pretty easy. And first okay, off, okay, relax, speak. And first off, uh, you need somebody who can be there at the build up a lot more. Rock would not be able to be at the build up a lot. You need okay. somebody at the build up. Okay. So that's why I figure if you have, whether it's Shane, Braun, Seth, um, Kurt, they all will be there anyway. So you can have them help build this match because you know, I mean, Ronda's probably not going to be there every single week. They're probably going to. You know, make her a little more. And of boy, novelty. if it's Seth Rollins with, with his performance in the Gauntlet match and all mm -hmm. this Monday Night Rollins stuff, that'd make him even a huge, huge yeah. star. He'd be on the Today Show with stuff like that with Ronda Rousey. He would That's be. True. He might even make the Tonight Show. Oh, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe he would. Sunrise and Sundown. He's on both. <laughs> it's like Rick Rude. Like David Arquette. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Maybe David up. Arquette could be Ronda <laughs> Rousey. Hold partner. up, my family. He would be my tag team partner, not Ronda Rousey's. Well. <laughs> Oh, my God. Well, I'm just saying, just for this immediate instance. Don't. Jesus. All right, let's go over to the Elimination Chamber. Uh, first ever women's match. Some people feel this is, like, becoming too much women's revolution of, like, they having to do everything. I think it's fine, them doing the uh, Chamber match. Um, you don't think they're rushing it at all? No, I, I think, honestly, actually, if they didn't do a women's Chamber match, given the way they've done things the last six there months, would be with, big, it would be weird. It would be an uproar, maybe. Yeah, they had, a, wow, they had a women's really Hell in a Cell. They've had women's Rumble. It would be weird. If they, it, 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 would, it, would, it would be interpreted as sexist. Yeah, oh, yeah. People would go, right. oh, you thought they could handle the Rumble, but you didn't think they could handle a Chamber match. So they kind of have to they're, – they're kind of obligated and at this point. And this it is, like, the sense. final, like, thing, that they've done a Money in the Bank. They've done everything. Now, Iron right? Man match, Yeah, too. so – well, maybe with this, then everybody's on a level playing field. Well, I'm still yeah. waiting. I'm still waiting for uh, Alexa versus Nia in a buried alive match. We got a few gimmicks we can still. Okay. <laughs> I, they'll probably try it. Inferno match. You never, oh my god. All T the matches. TLC. Have they done? T they haven't done TLC, have they? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, I think. Well, they had a, for the women. Oh, it was on Raw. I don't know if they had a uh, okay. match or not. Well, almost I'm sure there. they will We're this year. There. But for the Elimination Chamber, I think uh, Alexa Bliss is going to retain and 
I don't know who she's going to fight because the Asuka Nia Jax factor is up in the air too, which we didn't talk about. But we'll get into. Okay. Well, what do you think? I think Alexa will hold on to it. I think this is going to be made to look make Alexa look very strong, having survived five other yep. women in, in this brutal uh, gimmick of a match. Think I she starts the match or comes in like last? That's a good one. Does it uh, last. I would say last. As a I could see her as last and kind of like opportunistic as a heel, mm -hmm. especially because in the men's match, Eli's going to come last and he's not going to win. So I think it's good for them to kind of still show that the that the probability and odds matter. So like put her in last, you know, and that can again that's kind of the heel thing for her to and do. It's just like a basic format because again, it's not like the twelfth elimination chamber for the women. It's the first one, first so you can do like the basic stuff that you've done with the men already right. and right. apply it to the same way. I mean, I'll be interested to see how the women, I mean, how just how the bumps come off, how they, you know. You know, I, I, I'd assume one of the chamber matches is going to start the show. I would think it probably is this one. Yeah, Space I would say that's the chamber a smart, matches as far smart as idea. Well, uh, yeah, the men's chamber's going to finish the pay per view, right? I assume. You yeah. assume so. <laughs> if, if, the, if the women's going to finish it. They finish it with Rousey's contract now. Well, <laughs> mate, who knows? That's, that's, uh, that's it not. Is, it's a, th it's a throwaway. Away. I'm not going to doubt point. you at this point. It's a throwaway, <laughs> I guess. So, I mean, you could do it. She finished WrestleMania. Why not finish this pay per view? <laughs> if Rousey's, if Rumble, Rousey's yeah. contract yeah. segment finishes it, then yes, I could see a rock or somebody getting involved. Oh, because it would be major. you got to end on a big bang. Right, Definitely. Right. Well, let's talk real quick about Asuka versus Nia. If Nia wins, she gets to be involved in the Raw picture. You made a point that it could maybe a draw. Maybe a way where they they both yeah. are kind of like cancel each other out, which I could see happening. It's not like a no-DQ match or anything, is it? No. no. So they easily, maybe a third party comes in. I don't know when it's going to be placed on the card. If Alexa Bliss maybe comes in and doesn't want Nia to be figure... involved and gets her disqualified. Or, well, that would make it I mean, that's easy. possible. I would have to agree with Chase on that. Well, you figure you don't, Asuka's not going to lose here. No. She shouldn't no. lose here. No but She's been defeated. Why lose now? Right. But I could see Nia going up against Alexa, the, the, the friends for Mania, and then I could see Asuka somehow ended up with Charlotte over on SmackDown. I so think you, it's a better idea. So you need a draw. You need some way that both of them can, you know. It's WWE. They I don't know how you draw. I don't know how you draw. I mean, I'm like sure they'll count out maybe. Or, yeah. Uh, but you just want to make sure that Asuka. She'd still be undefeated, yeah. Right. Yeah. As long as she doesn't have that loss. It's it wouldn't be the right story ending for Asuka to go undefeated then. Maybe right. she maybe she just wins. <laughs> maybe Asuka <laughs> just wins, and then Nia Jax just ends up against Alexa anyway, and Asuka chooses Charlotte. Charlotte calls it. Yeah, yeah I mean, it could be that simple. So Maybe we're overthinking it. Yeah. Okay. Don't work yourself into a shoot, brother. Work yourself into a shoot, right. All right, coming up next, Josh and I are going to debate Finn or Seth. Who is in a need? Who is in more of a need to have a big marquee match? at this year's WrestleMania in New Orleans. Again, our New Orleans WrestleMania Day party. You can get all the details on our social media. Mr. Anderson, Tommy Dreamer, and of course, Noel Foley. All three will be there as far as, as well as the rest of us in the CSR crew. Uh, free to get in, free Q&A, 20 bucks to meet each of them, or a special VIP package for $160. You have lunch with Noel, meet Tommy, meet Ken, foods included, special social media video. Uh, only six spots for that VIP, so you can uh, be one of six people to say you had lunch with Noel on WrestleMania Sunday. Uh, I'm sure a lot of stories, a lot of laughs. We've had her here in CSR before. Uh, a lot of fun there. So check out what you got to check out. Like, comment, share, do what you got to do. One more to come.